hi you guys welcome back to my channel the ninth cup where all of my readings focus on your soul's destiny and everything you can do to embody your soul's purpose this is going to be a north node reading for sagittarius if your north node is in sag or the ninth house this reading is for you i am channeling through me messages from spirit regarding your north node um, for those of you who are current subscribers welcome back thank you for helping me grow my channel for those of you who are new welcome my name is karen michelle yearwood i am an intuitive guidance counselor and i help people like you along your ascension journey so for those of you who are unfamiliar with north node it's an aspect in the natal chart that determines or indicates um our soul's destiny or the energy of what we're meant to be doing in this human experience but it isn't just about your north node it's about your south node as well which is 180 degrees opposite in your chart or where your north node sits so for you your north node is in gemini the north the, i'm sorry for your for you north node and sad your south node is in gemini i think i said that right and um it is about finding that equal you know balance and dance between the two energies it's not necessarily walking away from south node um, but the south node is where your comfort zone is it's what's innately um, easy for you it's everything you do well the north node can be a little bit challenging it could you know represent some obstacles and hardships around that energy and it could just feel like unnatural really to sit in north node energies so this again reading is really figuring out um, at this point in time it is a timeless reading so whenever you see it is when you're meant to see it um, you know what spirit wants you to know to bring into your awareness where breakthroughs are coming through and yeah just what you need to be aware of at this point in time. We have time to go. First Oracle. I'm using the um, Wisdom of the Oracle. It's a nine. 45 reduces to a nine. So that's almost completion. That's at a pivotal point. Nines are pivotal points for me. Um, we have Truth Be Told. Beautiful, which is a 14. That's a five. That's change, right? Big changes coming through. And we have Oh Orphan another five another change card okay so time to go truth be told and orphaned you know may, many of you may feel um disconnected from your tribe um, whatever your tribe is could be a friend circle could be um you know a group of collaborators you know like-minded people like you could be family um and you know with this time to go it's like I'm just getting like a growth spurt for some of you um, that you're really stepping into a new sense of self. Um, you're stepping into your own truth. But this truth be told, it's like it's like you're discovering like your authenticity. And with the orphan card, it's, you know, maybe not feeling so supported by those who you are close to feeling just kind of like an, an oddball, a black sheep. And, you know, not that people are necessarily attacking you, but it's like with their lack of support, their lack of kind words or lack of motivation and inspiration you just feel orphaned um but you know it's a five card so that's change so this is like you really you know shedding old skin and shifting into a new way of being which is beautiful i think that's you know beautiful north node energy because like i said it doesn't feel good sometimes when we are moving towards that north node it feels a little bit lonely and destabilizing kind of like um uh, like a little chaotic sometimes depending on what's going on in the energies of course but you know with being orphaned and you know time to go I think that's definitely north no really being activated here the energy is gaining momentum I'm just getting a few monology cards for you all as well to get uh, some more energies if I can keep these cards straight all right I'm just gonna leave them like that oops the next card that flipped is meditate and contemplate new moon in pisces with truth be told yeah so there could be some revelations coming through to you from the divine um with energy is gaining gaining momentum that doesn't have to be 3d that could be things in the fifth dimension things in the ethereal that are already moving and manifesting for you and it's just a matter of time before they come down into the 3d look at the bigger picture full moon in scorpio i think uh who just got that i think scorpio just got that one um so what else do we have here the energy is getting momentum meditate and contemplate look at the bigger picture yeah so look at the bigger picture in terms of what's going on in, in your immediate present whenever you're seeing this don't stay too stuck or married to the events that are unfolding or to what people are saying or what they're not saying look at the bigger picture in terms of your own evolution and your own vision what do you really want to step into what is something that maybe um, you're afraid to do, but 
you know you want to do it or what is uh well, what group of people do you really want to be in front of do you really want to be inspiring and speaking to um meditate on that you know ask your source your ancestors your higher power whoever that is ask them for answers ask them for guidance on how to bring this into the 3d into how to make it real for you because that's going to make you you know feel more welcome and accepted you know that tribe or that um you know people kind of recognizing your gifts and you know listening to you right maybe not even saying anything but just kind of giving you like they're holding space for you right giving you their energy like kind of just opening up to you that's going to defeat that orphaned energy and make you feel more um included and you know meaningful and on purpose so that is what i'm getting with that let's go to your tarot sagittarius i'm going to use the eighth house tarot deck for you all what do we have here? The Knight of Fire, which is your energy, Sag. Knight of Wands is what that is. So Knights are moving, you know, they always are going towards something, going towards a goal. They are going to, to conquer something, not, you know, or seize something, not to be like negative, right? Not to like, you know, conquer in terms of like defeating, but like going to like get something that is um, very, they're very passionate about, um, going towards like whatever is needed to obtain or meet a goal so with this energy is gaining momentum and time to go it's like time to go towards the things that you really want to be about and you know stop trying to fit in where you are stop trying to find acceptance and you know um you know to be affirmed by whoever is around you your destiny awaits i know that sounds kind of cheesy but i think that this is what source is saying at this point in time is like you know your your purpose here in this human experience is waiting for you to do certain things now whatever that is for you is going to differ for all of you because you all have different placements i'm just reading for your north node at this point so it's going to look different queen of air yeah the queen of air the queen of swords has expectations and it's a no-nonsense queen clarity she wants truth she wants direction she wants you know clarity no beating around the bush kind of energy. So with this, you know, movement with that Knight of Wands and now this Queen of Air, it's like you speaking your truth, you being no nonsense about who you are, really stepping in and having expectations of those around you, not necessarily to acquiesce to what you want to do, right? But to to know and to respect and honor um, your boundaries, your truth and what, you know, you are going to be partaking in. What do we have now? Pluto, Judgment. Judgment card is total surrender, right? And it's totally like, um, it's, a, it's surrendering to the will of the cosmos. And it's also, um, you know, maybe bringing something up from the past to be resolved too. So what I was channeling earlier about maybe some of you being scared to do something, but you really want to do it. Maybe something that you started, but you didn't finish from before. Uh, maybe something that you believe you have failed at, starting that again with a new fresh perspective. That's what I'm getting with that Pluto energy with, with the judgment card because Pluto does rule death, rebirth, and transformation. So this is now coming, you know, you kind of Phoenix rising, coming back, coming, um, coming towards like this vision, endeavor, pursuit in a new way, from a new perspective, in a new angle. Okay. And again, it's time to go here. And with this you know, Knight of um, Knight of Wands and the energy is gaining momentum. That totally makes sense. You know, your self note is Gemini, very versatile, very multifaceted, very social. Gemini is Mercury ruled. So being able, so being very mentally flexible, I think is what many of you are, okay? But you're meant to be, you know, a teacher, right? You're meant to, you know, kind of study and travel and dive into different things really balancing out that beautiful Gemini energy, but again, doing so in a way that is um, more spiritual, more reflective, okay? More helpful to others. What do we have? Ace of Air, yeah, Ace of Swords. A new beginning. <laughs> a new beginning in clarity, a new beginning in truth, a new beginning within, in an understanding for a particular school of knowledge, for a particular um, modality, you could be studying something new, um, reading, taking courses, maybe building your own courses. Um, with this truth be told and meditate and contemplate, that could also be the energy of the divine kind of coming through and giving you clarity, asking you, I mean, giving you what you ask for. Okay, so this could also be spirits is saying, be clear about what you want, you know, because our ancestors and spirits and our angel guides are, are just waiting, right? They, they want to be employed. They want to assist us, but... With that, we have to be clear about what we need assistance with, and we have to also show up for ourselves. 
So I think that's what you all are doing. Because look, we have Six of Water, Sun and Scorpio, Six of Cups. Six of Cups is nostalgia energy. It's childhood energy that could be playing into what I meant earlier about something from the past. Um, doesn't have to be from childhood per se, but maybe a distant past, five, seven, ten years, um, where you don't, you didn't feel successful. You felt like you just, you know, weren't at your best. This is now coming back with that truth, you know. And even with this truth be told card, this oracle, it's. You know, I'm getting for some of you using that as your platform, you know, maybe writing a book about it, you know, self-publishing your own book, starting your own blog about it, your own YouTube channel about it, or just, you know, a series of videos on it, incorporating it into your own courses where you're using your story as like the foundation of whatever it is you're teaching, whatever it is you believe in, right? Because your North Node is Sagittarius, so it's, excuse me, it is philosophy, right? It's higher learning, expansion of the consciousness. But it's now you're taking a different take, you're having a different take on whatever that experience was. You're coming through with more clarity with the with the insight, right? With the um divine download of like, okay, I went through this or that experienced that because of this, and now I know this. And you know, this modality or this philosophy, whatever it is, it's a general reading, is now how I'm helping others. Okay, so I'm getting that some of you could be stepping into spiritual leadership. Yep. Uranus, the fool, stepping into something new, going on a journey, an unfamiliar, unknown journey, unknown territory, but you have unshakable faith. You know, the thing with the fool is he or she takes every step knowing that his or her foot will be planted firmly where it's supposed to be at that time. It's Uranus in Aries. So that Aries energy, okay? Fool, um, uh, trailblazer, you know, first to do something fast paced energy, action oriented. So this is like what you're taking on in terms of um, what is meant for you, you know, with that time to go card, with the energy gaining momentum, it's like you're really, you know, you're really loving who you are. You're loving who you're becoming. And I, I love this energy, Sag. Page of fire, page of wands, messengers. Pages are messengers, so it could be a message coming through. Pages are also young people. You did have this orphan card here. So, and then look at the bigger picture. So this could be storytelling from your childhood. If you have any um, inner child wounds that you have healed from and now you want to inspire others to do the same. So telling stories from your childhood, telling stories about, you know, maybe not fitting in, um, being bullied, being ostracized, something like that could be, you know, what you all are using to step into this new sense of self. What do we have here? Gemini, your South Node energy. Um, the Lover's card, which is a six. Reciprocity equal give and take balance is what sixes are. With the Lover's card is a choice in love um, or just making a choice, a choice in something you love, okay? Um, could be a choice regarding a lot of different things. Could be a choice for you to really step further into who you are, maybe moving away from a family dynamic or you know, a circle, a soul tribe, and doing something different. Um, but I love that your cell phone energy is here, Sag. So you both energies are here for you because that um, Knight of Wands was is Sagittarius energy. And now we have Cancerian energy, the chariot, more movement. Okay. In the traditional tarot deck, the Rider Waite, that um, person in the chariot with the two sphinxes, the white one and the black one, it's uh, energies being balanced, divine feminine, divine masculine. But the person, the, uh, the, the individual in the chariot is Said, said to be the emperor which is the aries card and you have the aries energy here with the fool so it's like and what i'm trying to say is aries yes fire energy action trailblazing but aries rules the first house so it's like the first you know you're kind of like stepping into who you are because aries is also i am okay the saying for aries is i am so it's like you're claiming who you are you're claiming like a title um, you're claiming you, this could be the first person in your soul tribe or in your family to do something, um, to do something, um, that you believe is your purpose, right? The first person to do X, Y, Z could be anything, just general reading. But again, you are the first to take on, to go on that journey, to go down that direction. It's going to lead to total abundance. Cause look, the 10 of earth is at the bottom of the deck, 10 of pentacles. So that's you building up your own family, your own belonging, your own soul tribe, your own community, um, your own divine clients and people that, again, take you out of that orphan energy, what I said earlier. I really love it, Sag. I mean, there's not much I can really <laughs> criticize here or complain about. 
It's just stepping into your own. It can be a little uncomfortable, yes, but I think what's coming down the pipeline for you is just a revelation and you know total truth and who you are. And you're unstoppable once you're once you are like in your truth, right? We we know that. You you um have uh, big shoes to fill, I think. I just the cards don't say that um in terms of like the meanings of the cards, but intuitively. I think some of you have big shoes to fill in terms of who you're meant to inspire and who you're meant to um who you're meant to lead in this lifetime. So that is what I'm getting. Let's wrap up with a few angel answers. Trust. You're gonna trust yourself. Don't stop. <laughs> more more momentum energy, more movement within the next few months. So something is coming down the pipeline, okay? Whenever you see this. All right, Sag, that's what I have for you. I hope that it resonates, or at least some of it. If so, like the video, subscribe to the channel if this is your kind of thing. Um, my website linked below. You can go there to get information on booking a personal reading. I'm offering aura analysis with those readings, which is where I can um, give you some clear insight into what holes are in your aura that need to be patched up so you can manifest and begin to live um, your best, you know, your best life, <laughs> um, live on purpose and really um, shift your frequency, shift your vibration. Okay, so that's what I have for you all. I hope to see you in the next reading and be sure to thrive. Bye.